The head of South Carolina's Juvenile Justice Department says the state's main juvenile detention center is overcrowded and unsafe. So she's asking state lawmakers for nearly $30 million to build a new facility. State House reporter Mary Green has the details. In other states, the detention facilities where juveniles are housed before their trials are typically under county's operations. But in South Carolina, the only counties that have them are Richland and Charleston. So the state says the DJJ is in charge of everyone else at its detention center in Columbia. Right now, the state of these are facilities. They're not secure and they're not safe unless we are have to, we are constantly trying to make changes and constantly trying to make upgrades to always focused on safety and security. Um, they were designed for a different population in a different time. DJJ Executive Director Eden Hendricks says the current juvenile detention center was built in 2001 and designed to hold 72 children and teens, but they've been way over capacity, averaging 126 kids and teens in the detention center last November. It's hard to portray a picture of how really crowded it is until you're there. So in the cells, you know, they have toilets in their cells. So in order for a, a youth who doesn't have a room to use the bathroom, someone has to come out. Hendrick says they do not expect this number to drop because more juveniles are being arrested post COVID and a state law that went into effect a few years ago now keeps more teens in DJJ's jurisdiction instead of in adult jail. Hendrick says a new detention center's capacity would be designed around these higher numbers. We are now serving the whole state. And so we really think that it's necessary to have a new building. Just in the last several months, violent incidents, including a riot in October, have sent DJJ staff and juveniles to the hospital. Well, the new building cut down on the riots. The new jail? Everything we're doing is designed to cut down on the riots. Really, it comes down to staffing, and it's really hard to recruit and retain staff when your facilities are terrible. DJJ is asking for another $41 million to repair and refurbish facilities other than the detention center. Hendrick says some of them were built in the 1950s and have had extensive use but minimal upkeep since then. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green. Hendrick says DJJ staff have been visiting other detention centers across the country to see how other states model theirs and that a new one here in South Carolina would look more like a school than the current one.